Uh, seven. All right. Cool. A little too fast for you there, my friend. Uh, Alexander? Yeah. When you actually ask me if my attacks were magical, that scares me. Um, I mean, it was like a beefed up chimera. No, that's obvious. Um, so he's going to touch his weapon to do a quick magic weapon on his thing. So now his uh, long sword is magical, or considered magical, and he's going to then next round he's going to like try and beef cake this guy. But right now he's just going to do a nice old school swing. Does he have extra attack? At... Right? He does. Yeah. I was hoping he was going to compel duel, but very near. I'll compel duel it next yeah. round. Yeah, just it's gonna it kill somebody else. Well, I mean, he's only attacking you, so I guess you're the only one to blame if you die. I think I can. I think I can work work this through. This um, that's a miss. Yes, and I have an extra attack. You said. Yeah, because yeah. you're you're a paladin. Class. Paladin yeah. has. Extra I don't. Attack. I don't play paladin. Yeah, so but it's all on the character me. sheet. Uh, all right. So I guess I technically go again. Yeah. Uh, You've been playing this guy for three oh. sessions now. All right, well, nine damage for that hit, at least. To be fair, um, you, Theta, to be fair, I don't really look at his sheet uh, after we play, and I've only really done combat with him twice. I just assume so. you look at the sheet while you're playing. It's, it's ten damage, because it's magical now. Oh, there you go. So the ten actually goes through. Yep. All right, very let's see if we, if we can at the very least kill this Chimera. I think we're okay. Hicks. Just focus it down super hard. Yep. Uh, he's he's still at a disadvantage if I try to hit, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to blind him. Hey, uh, Barricat, could you go ahead? I mean, hey. Um, Axios. <laughs> hey, that, there you go. <laughs> I keep forgetting that he took off the mask. <laughs> Axios, can you roll blindness for me because it's your spell in my ring? Uh, yeah, so are you trying to blind the, the Chimera? I'm trying to blind the Chimera. That's Pog. Yeah. And yep. that'll even it back out. We'll yep. have advantage to hit and disadvantage, so we go back to even. There you go. So it makes a constitution saving throw. DC 17. Fails. And it is now blind. Go oh, hold on. Yeah, I'll say, cause it's still it is blind. At a 50% chance. Yeah, no, 50 I guess a 25? 30, 33% chance. No, yeah. No, 50. Oh, it says 50, wait, yeah, 50, 50 what? That's right, 50%. Yeah, it's blessed. Yeah, it's blessed. Oh, right, right, blessed, okay. I was looking at a 2 in failure, and I was like, wait, it's, like, it's not 50. I was like, wait so, a second, so yeah, I fucking suck of... at math. Are all yeah, three heads blind, or is only a specific head blind? Ah. That's... I don't. I think it's up over here. In fairness, it so is it one has creature. Rules for that. It, it is yeah, one, it's one creature. creature. I, I'm just asking. I, I don't because <laughs> like I just there. say like if this was like something like Pathfinder, it would be a specific head. Yeah, I think in this in case this the creature one, this creature doesn't say that it's. A, there are other creatures that have multiple heads. Yeah. Like you, you blind them. Like, yeah. See, in a tabletop game, that's just rules. If this was like a show, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Like, aha, I've blinded you, and the hero goes in to stab the creature, and he gets bitten by the snake-headed tail. It's like, oh, I didn't get you. Yeah, I, I'm going to remember uh, you said that, but so if the you guards. ever find a chimera on my end, we'll see what happens. The guards. They do stuff. They have spears. They can chuck. Where, who are they going to attack? I... Would it be make more sense to go after the riders, or try and bring down the wyverns? Just shoot the beast. That's They're my... not gonna hit the wive the riders. Just get one good throw, knock him off the beast, and then Shh. that's one dead rider. Just shoot the beast. That's what I'm saying. It seems hard. Um. Ah, yeah, just throwing it out there.
Okay, these two guards are going to chuck spears at this wyvern. And then three at this one up here. Well, that's a hit. Five points of damage. And uh, can this guy make it? Yeah, he can make it. So one. Uh, yeah, he's not going to make it. So only one guard is going to chuck a uh, spear at the other. And misses. The writer is going to make a saving throw. For his blindness. Yep. <laughs> no. He misses. He what? orders, he, he says something goblin. And the wyverns are going to fly over here. Uh-oh. Over here. And he's going to fly a little bit higher, like 30 feet higher. So two attacks. First of all, let's see if the uh, wyverns recharge. If it wyvern does not. Oh, is he? is he like flying out of melee? No. Okay. They're flying over. They're just flying over. Cool. Yeah, they're over 30 feet uh, over. Nope. No recharge. Uh, but you can see that the the, the, the the fire sort of get have pots and they're gonna throw these pots at the ground. Oh god. Oh no. No, this they why you, this, is, this is why you go after the riders. I'm not gonna and kill them. DC third five foot radius burns. Yeah, it's only five foot radius, so uh Leo and uh kicks. Please make a uh, dexterity saving throws for me. Oh boy, it's dexterity time. I'm good. Nat. Hey, mm -hmm. look at that nice zero, which Gets goes up to a seven, seven total. <laughs> two d six plus two. Uh, eight points for four for everybody gets four points, but the ground beneath you, and you are are on fire. Oh, Any, really? Anyone starting or entering the area will take an additional 2d6 fire damage. Area burns for one, one minute. Rider misses or roll a 1d4. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So, that area is on fire. The area is also on fire. So, when you start, you're going to have to take 2d6 unless you leave the immediate area. Okay. Which is the square in which you're in. Wait, uh, the square that kicks us in or the square that both of us Both are? of you. Because both of them mm -hmm. through... Uh, Bombs. The one was thrown at kicks, and the other one was thrown at Leo. Uh, Axius. Are these two guys at the same elevation? Yeah, they're about forty, well, about fifty feet up the ground. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can target that. I think. Right, let me check. If you're doing what I think you're doing, it's a good move, because I had a plan on what I was going to do next, but what you do depends on it. You know, Robert, I really hope that most often times you have a plan for when your turn comes around. Yeah, yeah we're going to go for it. Hypnotic pattern? Yep. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be on these two wyverns and their riders. And they're going to roll what? A wisdom save. Wisdom save. They fall. Nice. Yep. Which wakes up the wyverns, so they're going to be on the ground. Yep. And it kills the riders. Sick. But these guys are guys on the ground. They're going to take... Great. 5d6 points of damage. So each one of them takes 11 damage. But Sick. now, they're within range of Leo and Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Hey. Do we get uh, attacks of opportunity or no? 
They just landed there. They haven't I left your place yet. Inspire. Yeah. Um, who wants inspiration? Give it to Lael. All right. Yeah. Lael gets inspired. Thank goodness. I'm getting like. Uh... So you have a D8 to throw at everything and anything? Oh, that's good. Um, and I continue. Cautious retreat. Uh, Sevda. Probably on the same plan, honestly. Well. How much are you two gonna move? I'm moving next round, so. Yeah, but how much are you gonna move? Uh, well, I can be pretty mobile. It's going to depend on, like, the movement of these creatures, but. So, I, like, I, it, I doubt they're going to be staying in one place for much longer, but I'm going to be moving this round, and I'm going to try and jump on top of something. God, I wanted to do it so bad, but I think I, I will refrain. Um, so, I think... Go after the goblin leader. Yeah, I think we're back on that plan. Of just hitting the fucking caster guy with Scorching Rays. We take out that leader, then most of their plans are going to be, you know, down the tubes. So it's a 15, a 16, and a 25. Uh, is this this oh. is still at a disadvantage, but advantage? Yeah. Okay. So the, all three hit. All three? Yeah. Okay, so that's um, 12, 20, 31 fire damage. Yeah. Still there. Cool. Uh... Bonus wow. action. Don't. I. I guess you could. Uh, quicken spell something. Mm -hmm. So you can quicken spell a. The, is the chimera on the ground? Yes. Right. Yeah. So could bonfire. Which is a deck save that it's probably not great at. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, she'll quick and spell a bonfire. How much um, damage? Uh, ten. Also, uh, the thing against the caster should actually be one more because one of those rolls was a one and the feet makes it a two okay. whole, whole one damage gotta get it Lael, you start the round on fire yeah I'm jumping on top of the wyvern that's on the ground okay and I, I'm taking out uh, what is it called that the, uh, the uh... deck I make an attack opportunity at disadvantage, but I make an attack opportunity. Go ahead. I hit. Not a crit. That's not, not a crit. A, it's not a crit. That's what matters. <laughs> ten Just 10 damage. damage. <laughs> uh, Thank God for blindness. And I have uh, Mirror's Edge out uh, now, and I'm slashy slashy. Does any of does the fourteen hit? Yes. All right. Well, the second one is sadly just nine piercing. I'm saving the psychic da damage for later. Actually, you did the critical. I get the critical because it's prone on the ground. Oh, uh, yeah, twelve. It's twelve prone. damage to it. Uh, I'm saving sure the psychic for later. Really? I can only use it once. I want to use it for the chimera just in case. Fair enough. Uh, do you want to try and use the inspiration on your first attack? 
Actually, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a D8. Uh, another four on top, so 18, does that hit? Yeah, it does. Okay, so add 11 on top, so it's 11 and 11. 11 and 12. Okay. Uh, 23, 23 on this wyvern. Okay. And no Jericho. more inspiration. Jericho is... Mm -hmm. What is what are you doing, Jericho? Um, what I'm trying to do is time related, time sensitive. So I hope you're gonna lean into my buy-in on this. I'm listening. Uh, well, I can only get this far to try, even try. Um, okay. You're indoors, so you don't see anything right now. Well, I mean, assumedly there's a pathway this way. I can see down this way. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I need to do. This is the talk through the buy-in part of my these two guys have been down for they're two dead. rounds see no, that's they, my th they've been disintegrated by acid you don't care well fuck it then i've wasted every turn until now i'm done then i'm sorry i've been I'm trying literally... to i was trying to rush there to put spare the dying on them so my everything i've done from the entire since they've died nibble hand up there and finally see the horror of it uh, Nibblehand's gonna go ahead and step over here and grab this guy's bow. <laughs> uh, well, he, can he doesn't need it anymore. Yes, we or are. spear. Well, these guys are on the ground now. Yeah. Are they? In that case, maybe maybe she'll just hop off and try going that so way. If they've been disintegrated, then assumedly their shit was disintegrated. Yeah. yeah. Yep. She's gonna jump, so... Yeah, roll a... Gonna take a Would you allow hits. her to take like a single move action to just slowly hop off, like grab the edge, drop? No, yeah, two and she just takes a single move and ends here. Yeah, and then well, I guess she could dash over. Uh, she doesn't have like an extra anything. No, especially if she does the other thing to slowly drop down. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so we'll just enter quickly. He's gonna make a con safe at the end of his turn. Uh, the end of his yeah. turn. That's right. Uh, well, he's gonna disengage. He's gonna fly upwards. Uh, okay. He can fly. Yeah, How far can he try. fly? Yeah, he's gonna fly 120 feet. And he's out of here then. Uh, Everyone get the op attacks. One, one uh, disengage is specifically he wants to leave oh, without getting engaged. Right. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ! A fly speed of 120. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if he doubles. He oh, doubles. oh, I guess that's singular. But yeah, if it's disengaged, you can only do one of them. No, oh, because he's disengaging, right? Yeah, so, so he, he, he can does. only go 60. He's a rogue. He goes 60. He can go 60. Unless he's a rogue, okay. yeah. Unless the Chimera itself has class levels in rogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would be, be very funny. worried. Who knows, maybe. <laughs> Sneak but. attack Chimera. I never saw it coming. Okay, so he's 60 up. Uh, we can still get him. He's 60 up. Unless he not appear in the number. It doesn't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's at the end, end of his turn. Uh, can't save. Can't save. Same DC as before, and 14 doesn't do it. Though, he just saw the bless doesn't. Oh, it's a 4. Hey. No. Now he's oh, so close. Blinded. Yeah. That'll do it. Hey, we're wasting whatever his blur time is. So <laughs> that doesn't Ale last forever. Alexandra. Is, all right, so the Chimera is now up in the air, yeah? 60 feet, uh -huh. yeah. He's just like, took off. He moves over to this thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, double strike. Uh, hit with the 25. Jesus, that was terrible. Uh, four damage. <laughs> uh, six damage. Five damage, because you have a magic. Five, weapon. excuse me. Yes, correct. Um, and... That was the move, oh, move and attack. I guess that's it for him. Next round, then, that duel will be compelling. But you said he's 60 feet, so he can't even reach him right now. Okay. Kicks, you're up. All right, uh, I'm going to end this Wyvern's whole career. Oh, boy. Uh, so let's start with attack number one. And fortunately for me, uh, he's not doing anything that gives me disadvantage. And I'm using Storm's Fury now. He's prone still, prone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I have advantage the then. Yeah. Uh, best of luck, Quivern. <laughs> Uh, 22, 4, 10, and I'll throw on a superiority die with a distracting strike. So that's already 12 damage for the first one. Time when you're clear? Yeah. Second attack, 18 to hit for 20. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm now using an action surge, and I'm using fighting surge. I'm going to critically hit with this. I will multiply the damage by two. Uh, that is going to be, uh, double that, 19 plus 3, uh, which is 44, isn't it? Yeah. And let me check out, uh, Fighting Surge real quick again. Do both of them get the... Whenever you attack using Action Surge, you want to score a critical hit on successful attack rolls. So, I guess both attacks on the Action Surge get crits. <laughs> Yeah, but you, uh, do you agree or you, disagree? Wait, wait a minute. Are you getting a crit off top of a crit? No, I'm going to make another attack that is also a crit. If you hit. Um, you automatically score a crit on six old attack rolls. Yeah, as long as I hit. Yeah, good. You agree? Ahead. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, 16, which means I'll have to actually roll the bless just to make sure. Oh, 18. Are you still at advantage? Uh, yeah. Oh, I sure am. <laughs> Which is a 25. 27 mm -hmm. will do that. So 17 plus 6 is 23 for 46 damage. Yeah, it's dead. Ended, that whole ended his whole career. career. I rest happy. Turn over. Guards, the guards <laughs> attack this wyvern, but uh, they're, they have disadvantage. Because it's prone. Which is weird, I know, but that's just the way it is. Range attacks. Oh, that's a hit anyway. Oh, pog. For four points of damage. Now they turn. Uh, this wyvern right here, they're going to fly a walk. Going to fly off. And the caster is going to make a saving throw. See if he, uh, he does not. Flying away. This wyvern gets up. Let's see, does he recharge his Acid Blast? Let's see. Breath Weapon on a... On a 5 to 6, no. But he has multiple attacks. He's going to bite, he's going to claw, he's going to sting. So, Lail. Lail. Ooh. That's 17 points for Leo. Looks like he's not here. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do the math for him. Well, cool. I believe that's also a hit. Oh, you have control yeah. of his token? I do. I think I have control so. of everyone's, basically. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Last but not least, the Stinger. And this one is important. Oh boy. I believe that's a that's miss. That's a miss. But it's no longer pro. Yep. So that'll be a total of 17, 20, 30 points for Leo. Yeah, he, he took all that. Mm -hmm. Axios. Okay, if I make the flying creature fall prone, does it fall? Or do I have to fully incapacitate it? What do you mean? Which one? Uh, the Chimera. Uh, depends what you do. By the way, it's no longer blind, by the way. Let me yeah, yeah. Well, if I... Okay, so Tasha's hideous laughter. Mm -hmm. It says, will, it, no. yeah, but Wisdom it's fine, save so... or fall prone, becoming incapacitated, unable to stand up. It's it can keep flying because uh so it, it okay. won't fall it won't be able to attack. Okay. But it will, but it won't uh, still fly. Fall it won't fall. Down. Yeah, the reason why it's that you you fall, okay. literally you fall down to the floor laughing, but there's nothing yeah. stopping it from laughing in the air. Right. Okay. It doesn't force someone in you know, underground. It doesn't force movement. 
Yeah. So that's what it would take. Like if it's, you know, if he, if it's uh, unconscious, of course, it can't fly because it has to do it constantly. That's different. Yeah. Or if I hypnotic pattern it, make it fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. Um. Kind of hold off on that for now. And instead, I think I'll just suggest it to land where it back back here, basically. Mm -hmm. That will put him in danger, so we'll have a bo have advantage on a second throw. Let's see. Can I tell him to land not like right here instead? If I mean the creature is smart enough to know that if someone can move quickly to attack it, yeah, it's still okay. in danger. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's, let me let me read carefully to see if I can find any way around this. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can't be charmed. Suggestion must be worded in a manner to make the course of action sound reasonable. Asking it to do anything, asking the creature to stab itself, throw itself onto a spear, immolate, or do something obviously harmful, ends the spell. Make a wisdom save on a failed save, it does the thing. It does thing understands you. Yeah, I think also Actually, has to understand you as well, yeah. Uh... Yeah, it does have to understand me. I don't remember if uh, I Chimeras if and I... the Manticores are the same. I don't know if it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to have a language that I share with it. I don't yeah, know what languages it does have, but I don't have, like, Sylvan or Draconic or anything. I think it's basically a beast, isn't it? It doesn't have, like, a high function. What do I mean? Like, it's like a manticore, but a manticore has a human head, and this thing has all animal heads. Yeah. But manticore so is, like, fully sure. intelligent sure. and cruel, so... Yeah. Uh, and I think the thing that makes things understand me is an actual just action. Yeah. Uh, do I... Do I just hypnotic pattern it? And say fuck it. That, that seems like a reasonable course of action uh, to just try and kill this thing. I mean, we get what? Like, Lael, Jericho, and Nibble Hand after this? I thought you said I was going to be in the target radius or something. I was like, what the fuck? No, no, no just, just <laughs> Oh, and also Sevda. Not not great, but I am entirely willing to say fuck it and burn a spell slot on that. So I will burn a spell slot on that. It's a it's a wisdom save. Okay. And it's only sixty, right? So it's within range of the thing. Yeah. Okay. He made it. Oh, it's a it's a minimum one on the the D eight. No, he rolled a one D four because he has no. I, I mean for the the unsettling words. But you didn't say that he said unsettling words. I just asked if he was in range to do it. That's. Well, I thought you said the range of the hypnotic pattern. Uh, Sorry. Throw some fucking spells at it. Fuck it. Um. Yeah, that's my turn, I guess. Fireball it. Fireball the Chimera out of pure rage and anger. Where are you targeting? The Chimera. 
No, I mean, yeah, but you don't want to hit Leo. That's what I'm saying. Where are you targeting? The Chimera is 60 feet in the air. Is it? Okay. Well, I was gone. I sent yeah, you right back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, chi the Chimera is flying, which is why I tried to hypnotic pattern it. Maybe we need to add some, like, elevation markers to the game. Yeah. Yeah, I put a... Uh, yeah, we need this. Uh, so... I, try to, I, put a, I try to put a 60 here, but it's... I guess the Chimera and the Caster have to make a save. Hmm. No, the Chimera doesn't have anybody on top of it. You're attacking the Chimera? Yeah, the Chimera has been solo. The, the yeah. Wyvern has a rider. Oh, uh, or okay. one of them at least does. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just feel like fireballing this Chimera. That also tells oh. me that uh, Leo's plan to get on top of the Chimera failed at some point. Yeah. Uh, he got on top of the Wyvern instead, yeah. But now the Wyvern is up, so. But yeah, you fireballed yeah. the Chimera, took damage. Sick. Leo. Leo, are you back? Nope. Hmm. You can see on his camera, he's not there. No. The dog is. Wait, nope, he might be climbing the stairs. Perhaps. Mayhap. The dog ran. There he is. The dog ran into the room and I saw him. <laughs> Hey, it's Lail. Woo! What did I miss? The Chimera got fireballed. Also, you took oh. a lot of damage. How yeah. much? A lot. It was already marked. 20, 30 or something. But it's marked. What did I take the damage from? The Wyvern. The Wyvern. It stood up. Really? Yep. Well, shit. Okay. Is it my turn, then? Yep. Yes. There sure is. All right, we're flurry of blowing the wyvern because fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. So standard tax and the unarmed. Apparently, the same square. What's your status with them? Friendly. I mean, like <laughs> on top of him or underneath him? Or yeah, his I don't know. Uh, is it still on the ground or no? No, it, it, it actually, it, no, it's no longer on the ground. It's a little top or a bottom. Okay, so he, he's uh, flying around with it, got it. No, yeah. no, I'm on. They're, they're both no, of them on, the, on ground, the ground, but, but it's not, it's not prone. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay, yeah. So anyway, I'm assuming the ten misses, but the other three hit. Yeah. So you have a fourteen and an eight. Uh, that is a twenty-two. 22. Twenty-two, still there. Oh, the son of a bitch! All right, Jericho. Uh, yeah, I move out to here. Yeah, that's. And then I will cast a healing word at fourth level on the Leo. That would be very helpful. Uh, let's see. Wow. Well, uh, I am <laughs> going to use. Never mind. I have uh, empowered healing. So let's see how many of those were. Uh, maybe two of those? Yeah, I'll reroll a one and a two. So I'll use two sorcery points. And. Hopefully, do a 50% better chance. Yeah, okay, so it's what? 3, 6, 10, 16. So you're healed for 16. I will take it. Anything else? No, that was a move and a, and a spell. I'm done. And Lee. All right, uh, the Khmer is still in the air. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and circle around to this side of the wyvern, and that's going to be your turn. Okay. Positioning. It just takes a while. Yeah. Chimera. Now it can move a hundred and yeah, it moves outside the map basically. It leaves. Coward. It didn't like that. That's totally fair. It's out. Goodbye. We didn't want you here, Alexander. Uh, I was actually going to challenge the damn thing. So I guess instead he'll compel the wyvern to duel him. Okay. 
So I guess a DC 15 saving throw wisdom? It should be 17. Is it based on something else? I don't know. I'm just going by what it says there. Oh, yeah. It should be charisma Your plus charisma, proficiency. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, wait, you have a... So 8 plus 4 plus 3. It's 14. Or 15. Mm -hmm. Oh. It has up. Yeah. All are right. Are you going to attack? That's a bonus action. You still have your attacks. I will uh, do the attacks, yes. Mm -hmm. I think Let's... the uh, 23 hits. Yes, the 23 hits. 12, 12 damage to it. 12 damage. 13, because it's a magic 13. weapon. Yeah. Anything else? That's all he can do. Hicks. I'll just uh, waddle over here. Oh, did I ever take the fire damage for having been in the fire from when oh, I started yeah. earlier? Yeah, 2d6, sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and roll that for me real quick. So, okay. four points for you, because you're resistant to fire. Yep. And you step back into the fire, so... Uh, I think the fire was actually, like, here. It was wherever you were originally. Yeah, I think I think it was over here. So I left up here and then came back over here. Uh, that might be Lil's area, but I I don't even remember that. Uh, I'm still gonna hit this gay guy. So let's go mm -hmm. ahead and do that. Uh, Storm Fury. Uh, number one. That's a hit. All right, that is gonna be 16 damage, and I will go ahead and superiority dice it now for a distracting strike for an extra six. And then one more Storm Fury. Yeah, it's dead. Hey, how do you kill it? Uh, as Lil is uh wrestling around with it, he goes ahead and lifts the uh head back, exposes the neck, and I just go ahead and leave a nice big uh cut halfway through it, and it flops over. Yeah. <laughs> The guards yeah. chuck a couple of spears. This acid, this wyvern is going to continue flying off the screen. So, all right, he he routes. That makes sense. How many did we kill? Two wyverns, and two. did we get a rider? Two riders. Yeah, two riders. Two wyverns, two riders. I uh, get in terms the of expense. Which one was the spellcaster on? I think that's the one that flew away, actually. Yeah, that's the one that flew away, yeah. Oh, that guy still lived? Yeah. yeah. Damn. I would say in terms of expending assets, we won this in terms of money, but we still lost three men. They came by to bloody our nose. It was a raid, I guess, to test defenses. The uh, That chimera is a problem. Also, they didn't finish fixing the bathroom. <laughs> Ah, uh, contractors. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, it wasn't his shit that did it this time. <laughs> if anything, this is a distraction or a test. They are ready, undoubtedly, to move in. We yeah. should begin moving our troops immediately. As a, about an hour or so that happens, uh, you see, uh, uh, I'm not a writer, I'm, I'm a human, uh, well, you would call me a guard, so a scout. Yeah, sort of tumbling in, oh, bloody. And he gets to the to the, the door of the keep and like, uh, it says slides down, leaving a bloody mark on the on the outer doors. What are you guys gonna do? I mean how do how do we know he's there? Because the doors are open. Oh there's a there's a guard here again. Well I don't know the doors yeah. are open. We have a top down view. Yeah. Yeah. yeah guards, he, he leans in yeah. against it and does that. I'll yeah. I'll rush over, but I can't do anything for him. Yeah. <laughs> Crane. Oh. Great. I mean, yeah, obviously, if the doors are open and he's like doing that on the inside, then yeah, healing oh. words. Nibble hands yep. a paladin too, so. Yeah. Yep. We got two paladins then we can use. Yeah. So How pop about your using healing. people with you, Leo? Yeah, pop your, pop your healing word. I mean, I'll just expand a spell slot. I'm assuming it's an NPC. And... Okay. I have uh... the act of doing it is enough to heal them. Mm -hmm. He is stabilized. He yet lives. What? And I'll go ahead and kneel down to him, help pick him up. Come on, let's get you inside. What did you see? It is the time. Giants. 
That's all giants moving to Pascara. They're attacking. More forces are on the way. The lady speech to it. If we don't hurry, they will, they will fall. And he's basically, even though you heal him, he's so exhausted also from, you know, running to get here that he sort of, you know, falls unconscious. With water and, and rest, he's going to be bad. well, but yeah, he's, he's out of it for now. Quick question. Did we, did we kill those trolls in Pascrell or did we just leave them? Oh, we killed them. Okay, I couldn't we, remember we if we like, made, made a sure. deal with them or something. That was the hobgoblins and that was a different thing. Yeah, that was hobgoblins in the jungle. If you're rolling hit dice, you get five from the song. Oh, good. Although, well, it's yeah. going to take more than a day to travel there. But... You know, I think it's ironic that we could work together on that. Because if you're rolling hit dice, because he's playing a song, I can use snow points. To... <laughs> you have to re-roll. I mean, not this time specifically. You rolled well. But if you rolled well, shitty on the... Are you going to take the full time to get there? Or are you going to... What are you going to do? To get we... there. We have our army start to pack up and we head out. That mm -hmm. assumably will take an hour. We take a quick breather and go. Mm -hmm. Um, We might want to talk about which armies we may or may not leave behind to defend the fort. Or is it okay if we just take everyone? Um, That's a lessons question. It's definitely... Does it like use its defensive bonus if we don't have an explicit army there? Or what? Well, well keep it so... If you're not manning the port, then nobody, you know. All right, so we do need to designate somebody stays here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll stay here. Oh, no, I mean army groups. Yeah, but I mean, somebody ought to stay here with them, and I don't want to see more death, because I'm not going to help you kill anybody. Okay. You can go ahead and man and make sure that they stay healthy. And I suppose uh, Alexander, then, comes with us. Is that right? Sure. Um, or or whoever the other character that you're playing is, Theta. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm not Theta. playing anybody else. Play old Theta, you could, you could play Alexander again. It's okay. Yeah, okay. that makes sense to me. All right. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and leave the scouts behind and we take the infantry out. Well, and the infantry will have? be backed up. Uh, we also have the elves who are going to come in. Assuming we've they're not back killed. training us. Cavalry now, right? And we have the cavalry. Yeah. Which is a brand new so, unit. Which is only good on specific terrain. Yeah, so black wolves. Yeah. What was the terrain around Pascarell? Everyone else. Uh, it was uh, a it was giant wooded, hill. Wood, yeah, it was, but it wooded? was wooded. Okay. Uh, and then near the entrance, it was. Uh... Okay, so yeah, definitely leave the cav. Yeah, because there was also that giant hill that was there, because it was also yeah. where the troll was living in. Wait, what did you say? Leave the cavalry? Yeah. They'll not be great in the terrain. Okay, that's fair. They're actually... They actually are a lot better out here. So, the cavalry yeah. and the light scout infantry stay behind. And cavalry stay behind. Everyone else go. So hopefully we'll meet the elves once we get the pass girl. Mm. Where are the elves heading here? Yeah. Uh, it's been like a week or so. I assume there's been some slight correspondence. I mean, we can't assume stuff that's not been said. I think lessons proved that to uh, Pando a little bit a while ago. <laughs> if things aren't said. Okay. It's very difficult to I get a word in edgewise and keep things going, so... Well, I mean, you're saying uh, everything now. Lessons, is this reasonable to have assumed that I was in contact with but, them? Uh, well, it hasn't really been a week. Uh, that, yeah, so... Yeah, I've marked you, two days. Well, it took a week to send that message, so... Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it, time has passed. You also gotta tell me when time has passed, because I'm running the calendar. Yeah. If you're going to uh, jump forward no, weeks, remember, you've got a whole plate yeah. mail thing being built. But no matter the scenario, I would have wanted the elves to go to Pascarell. So at Pascarell, we'll have two infantries, the elves, and then whatever Pascarell has. I'm, I'm glad that Bard gets a thing where they get Bardic Inspiration back on short rests. Yeah. 
fucking awful without it. Yeah, I mean, it's better than less. Because your die goes up. The list always mm -hmm. stays the same. I mean, yeah, but Bless is also like a first level spell, right? Yeah. Okay, so the situation, your scout tells you that there's more forces coming in, 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 uh, uh, on the way. So mm -hmm. your Elven allies suggest that you move forces south of Paxwell to block those forces, while smaller groups try to relieve the the first the strike on, on the on those. On Can the we go to the uh, over map? Yeah. Yeah. It's a moment. That might be easier, like make uh, John Madden style notations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, that makes complete sense. The only thing is we just have to get to Pascal first and then yeah. rally out from there, basically. Now, forces yeah. are coming from the south. There's always, there's, the attack has already begun with advanced forces that they sent, but there's more on the way. Yeah. What is the distance so, per hex? Uh, this is... Let me see. You know, I'm probably thinking badly. What's the distance on your teleportation spell? <laughs> Axios? No, it will no. That's yeah, feet. sixty feet. I That's dimension door. Is it sixty feet? Is the distance on dimension door? No, yeah. it's five hundred. Five hundred feet. Yeah, it's not measured in miles. It's measured in feet. So well, that's what I'm yeah. asking. With the distances, this is, this is miles. Well, I don't know. Apparently, yeah. it's measured in feet. Uh, it's fifteen feet. You know, it, I believe it will take us. It would take us two days if we were marching as an adventuring group. If we're marching as like an army, probably a day per hex, I would guess. How far by boat? I mean, how long by boat? Do we have boats? We we yeah, specifically yeah. built here to be near the the lake, yeah, so we get we didn't build any boats. So well, I mean, uh, how long to lo hollow out a, a log? For how many people? Two. We'll just make a lot of logs. It takes a couple of hours. We're we're walking. So yeah, uh, this in forest, uh, it takes about to cross one hex. Uh, depending on the speed, if you're going at average speed, a party it takes about eight hours. Uh, mm -hmm. If you double move, it'll take about four hours. Right, so maybe if we hustle, we could get uh, two here and then one here, and it still takes two days. Isn't the risk mm -hmm. of that exhaustion, though? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we don't want to die to exhaustion. Also, right. it would reduce the combat effectiveness of any troops you sent there. Mm -hmm. it would, it was, what's the first level of exhaustion again? Is that disadvantage on rules? Yeah. yeah. So, in other words, walking there uh, still takes three days. Also, Pascarell is a walled uh, town, so I think they can hold a siege for a small amount of time. Yeah. But, yeah, so we get there, we relieve Pascarell, we link up with their troops, we head out to the field to intercept. That's kind of the overall thing. It takes us three days to get there, and then from there, it depends on how far the other army is. Also, side problem is that, what's his name? M guy mm -hmm. might see us marching troops through his territory and Astro. do something. Yeah, he may not like that, but he that will. is true. He might but either he... see it as a threat or declare it as a threat. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully we get a message if it happens. We can always turn back and relieve them, and hey, we can always siege his keep while he's gone. I thought you were going with them. We're passing by his territory. No, I'm okay. saying it sounded like you were saying that you weren't going with them. That's why I was clarifying. I thought oh. you were going with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the army. We're, we're yeah. all going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lessons. That's the plan that I have planned. Uh, everyone's okay. good with that? Yeah, so basically, like I said, uh, there's an advance party attacking uh, the, uh, the Pascarelle. So that'll be tactical combat. Mm -hmm. And but the larger forces will be there probably in a in no less than a week. Who has our other uh, messaging stone? Marcus has one, right? And somebody else has some of the other one. Marcus and the Genetrix. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, and they can't do anything from way over there. I don't think they're able to at the moment. No. Well, I don't they know. could they... go next week. Well, yeah, they have a large force. I'm just trying to see if we have any marshalable allies. We don't have anybody I mean... on the other side of the portal. 
No, we have the elves and the dwarves sailing. The fucking genetrix sending people down the river would probably take a probably about a week. There's an old man with a giant bear about four days away. Do you want to recruit him? There is a veritable army of kobolds a couple days north of here. Four or five, maybe, days north of here. Right. I could probably send a message to the kobolds and say, hey, if you want to come defend, you could. But we already called in the elves, and I think that was our one ally role, so... Well, yeah, but this isn't a... Uh, this isn't a... Yeah, once for intrigue. This isn't a fortress and kingdoms. I can't remember the names of the two books. This isn't yeah, one know. of those. This is calling back upon previous story more than mm -hmm. it is a mechanic. Right. So I could, before we leave, I could go ahead, write a message to send to the kobolds and see if they respond. Maybe they will, maybe they don't. Yeah. Well, the kobolds, well, you know what the kobolds, kobolds are not very good at just straight up warfare, right? They, mm -hmm. They're they more subterfuge and that sort of thing. They can still help you uh, in other hey. ways, but not like a field <laughs> unit, you know? Right. Well, basically whatever they're willing to offer. Well, they're good game. at traps. We could set traps all along the outskirts of the territory. Making that river treacherous to cross would be hilarious, of course. Oh, and of course, everyone loves going to the ruins. <laughs> they go back and reclaim it a third time. So, yeah, uh, I just push the kobolds in the motion. That's it. I'm not looking for any specific outcome. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Pascorel. I should have built a fortress on that island. Okay, so this is perfect. what you see. It's, it's, you arrive by morning. And she, you see groups of giants on the outskirts. Uh, kind of giants. Lobbing uh, stones into it. And you see overflying uh, Pasquarel. You see more of those wyverns. And they're mm -hmm. dropping firebombs into it, into the, into the uh, city. The question is, what group are you going to attack first? Well, I definitely feel like we have a harder time dealing with the wyverns, but I know for yeah. certain we could deal with the giants almost immediately. We do have a big army behind us, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like uh, I said, this is tactical combat. Yeah. Um, and the idea is that, definitely uh, fuck up the giants, though. Uh, that the the army would move south. So when the re this is this is an advance force that is basically whittling down Pascoral and pinning them down. So when the army comes in, they finish it off one from once and for all. Yeah. We so does Pascoral have like ballistas or anything? Or are they just a town? They let me see if they have and see if they have on the map. They're a town, fortified town, but a town nonetheless. Because they have like ballistas, and then we fuck up the giants, and then the ballistas shoot the, the wyverns, you know? You're right, that's why we need siege weapons. Mm, they don't yeah, think you have ballistas right now. When you okay. say tactical, oh. do you mean ground level, or do you mean overview? Us. Us. Yeah, ground Us. level, okay. Yeah, five foot increments. Uh, I mean, as much as I love war and all war-related topics, I still get strategic and tactical mixed up all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna, you're going to be so, oversized yeah. in this map, but I'm going to have to shrink you. Okay. That's okay. It's Logan, time to lob on. all of the big spells and everything. I don't know. It's been a while since we got against giants. Last time we had an so, army of skeleton archers. Right, last well, time they became... time we have cookies. fireballs in. So. Yeah, last time we were also a lot less leveled. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, how long did it take us to get here again? Uh, three, if, days. If you, if, three days. Uh, okay. Three days if you didn't fourth march, which means you got rest and you got your spells back. If you cool. did for march, then you have to make saving throws against. Yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah. you can position yourself. These guys are looking at the city, and you know the hill giants are just sort of boom. You know, uh, not on the map. And board. they have and they have trolls. Yes, you should be on the map. I'm You're not on. Yeah, yeah, you are. Not here yet. you are. In the upper corner here, upper right corner. Upper right. No, like, I'm not on the map. We're on the over map still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're still on the war zone map. Here we are. I put you all okay, yeah, here yeah, in yeah. the corner. Here. No, it's, With it's clues the to the mystery we solved a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
the perfume scent boarding house. <laughs> so these guys are lobbying rocks, and they have trolls basically flanking them. Well, let's start uh, taking care of them, shall we? Uh, remember, Jericho's not here. Delete. Yep. Gone. Yeah. Why yep. is Marcus here? Because he's Just everywhere. He yeah, yeah, he's gonna be here if we to, if next week. He's available then. You know, he's here in spirit. <laughs> okay, I'll go okay. ahead and place myself on that side because that's where I'll be engaging first. Can I just make him like pocket Marcus? And I'll wait for the initiative. Um, okay, um, I just need to remove the twenty-five. Hey, Bearcat, are you cool with refilling my ring? Yeah. Wow, that was a terrible we have, initiative. For we me. have three days, of course. Yep. Thank you very much. I'm taking the same two spells because they work, unless I get another suggestion. I mean, blindness is really good. I'm and Tasha's is really good. Confused about how you've I been guess, keeping track of spells for Alexander. I guess you could put one enemy's abound in there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if Hypnotic Pattern is a wizard spell. Yeah, I only get three levels worth, though, so. Yeah, but I think, like, blindness and. Blindness and a level one spell is good. Mm -hmm. Though having a hypnotic pattern might be good as well. Yeah. What I really need is wizard levels. True. <laughs> um, oh, right. Initiative. It actually Have you been casting that. third level spells, Robert? Uh, Last time I did not. No. Yeah. I'm just wondering initiative. because it says that there's five spell slots for two spell slots that exist. I, I have I didn't cast any third level last yeah. uh, fight, so. I well, I mean, this is I a new day, so it's refreshed. I'm just wondering why. So like, you have two spell slots, but I've got five. It's like, wait, I, what? I could not tell you. So the wyverns, like you see, they're overflying this and attacking. You see people, you know, they using bows and arrows to try to shoot shoot them down, but they, you know, they yeah. do fly by attacks and drop uh, uh, their fire cask. Uh, we. Descending, yes, it should be descending. Uh, the trolls spot because you're not trying to hide. I mean, you do have an army in their back, so yeah. The trolls spot you first. Uh, so Axius and the trolls go first. Yep. You do have advantage that these the small groups are. You know, they're focused on attacking yeah, the city. They're small groups. Yeah, and they're dispersed and focused oh, on other also things. kicks. Remember, you don't have all those bonus hit points anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing that I need to do. Well, I just saw, yeah, Kix's token has 120 something hit points. It's like, yeah, Jericho was days away. <laughs> His stuff wouldn't have lasted this long. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I I did this on the assumption that uh, he he would have been here doing spells. My bad. No, remember I said Jericho I was staying at the oh, base. Wow, everyone rolled so low. There we go. Yeah, so the I'm troll basically, I said, runs past, taps, you know, kind of hits the little guy on the side who goes like. Mm -hmm. Like, he okay. says something in, in giant. Nobody speaks giant, I suppose. Uh, so it's like, and he points in your direction. And then the other troll is going to move to attack the closest target, which would be uh, Kix. So one square is 10 feet here? Right. Yes. Is that how we're doing this? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which I guess theoretically they would take up one square on their own, but eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I'm asking: is is one square five feet for these battles, or is it ten? Uh, that's ten. The reason why I don't make them smaller is that they now I take you make you. I can make you you smaller. So, mm -hmm. I guess yeah, it can be. Yeah, yeah. So that's for. Distances are the same. I'm keeping it's you all there, good. So yeah. Otherwise, okay. it, it it wouldn't be. I got no complaints. Yeah. Sure. I'm just gonna. Probably AOE stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, merc them before they get a chance or something. Well, Shit. they attack kicks anyway. Regardless yeah. of Yo, what you do. Um, see, I'll probably shatter. I guess, should I shatter the big guy or just these two? 